Hi and welcome to another Honest Review and this video is a follow-up to one that I did in March when I had my first Tixel treatment. I then had a second treatment in April and we're now coming into June so this is the stage when the results from those treatments should be optimised. A quick reminder then that Tixel, like laser treatments, is designed to fire heat into the skin and then that triggers the release of collagen and it's supposed to reduce the signs of aging like wrinkles and skin sagging. The benefit with Tixel compared to the other treatments is that the downtime afterwards, the actual marking you get around the skin as a result of the treatment, only lasts for a few days and that was definitely the case with me. As you'll see on this before picture, I had significant sagging on my eyelids to the point that I actually had uh, contact dermatitis where my eyelids were rubbing against my mascara. The cost per Tixel session was £400, which in today's exchange rate would be just over $500. So it's a lot of money. And I paid for a package of three, which is pretty standard, and that package cost me £900. So I've still got the third treatment to use. So I took a photograph this morning, which you can now see alongside the before picture. And you can judge for yourself what kind of impact the treatment has actually had. So I don't know what you think from that, but from my point of view, I felt that there was a little bit of bounce back in the skin. I got a little bit more elasticity, but the result was marginal. However, even that marginal result gave me quite a bit of confidence back. It was just enough to give me that lift. The big question is whether that in itself is worth £400 a treatment. And what I'm going to be doing over the next few months is looking at all different kinds of treatments, including creams and dermal fillers to try and work out what is best value for money. So I've seen before and after pictures of other journalists who've had just one Tixel treatment and they have been targeting fine lines around the eyes mainly and over different parts of the skin. And they've actually got really good results on fine lines. I had quite a few fine lines around my eyes here. They weren't deep and I felt that it was a good, good, good result on the fine lines. But the deeper lines and skin sagging, in my experience, that result is more marginal. So with Tixel and a lot of these similar heat or laser treatments, the three month point after you've had your treatment is, is marks the end of that treatment being effective and the starting point for your natural aging process kicking in again. So I have that third treatment still to use, but I'm gonna wait because we're coming up to the summer, I'm going on holiday. You're not supposed to be out in the sun. You have to wear Factor 50 to protect the skin after these treatments. So I'm gonna go on my summer holiday and then I'm gonna come back and have another treatment later in the year when I suspect the sagging will be getting back to where it was. So as I said earlier, in the coming months, I'm gonna be trying out different treatments. At the moment, I'm trying out the Nera Skin Laser on these lines up here and in between my eyebrows. So I'll be reporting back on that in the next few weeks. Keep a lookout for it. I'm also gonna be trying Elemis's new collagen serum, which they say is having great results on um, lines. So let's see how that goes. And later on in the summer, I'm gonna be trying out dermal fillers as well. So weighing up all of them, I should be able to tell you later this year which treatment that's non-surgical is best value for money and delivers best results. So keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.